Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're completing Chapter 12, A Golden Key. Taking a look at our story, we are at Tracking the Turks. Return to the Tiny Bronco to find out where the Turks are headed. Now before we do that, we have a new challenger in Queen's Blood, and that would be the Monster of Chaos. And that's in the Nebel region. At the Shinra Manor, so we're gonna go challenge them. And the right over here, it's Vincent. Need something. <laughs> of course. Should have known I wasn't the only one seeing ghosts. Shame, though. Some stories are better forgotten, including the Queen's. Know about the Witch's card? I heard you might have it. The Emerald Witch? As luck would have it, the card does happen to be in my possession. But it could be yours, should you prove yourself worthy. Challenge Vincent to a match. Let's do it. And we get an unknown reward. Let's begin. Okay, let's see here. Uh, kind of like all of it. Yeah, let's roll with all this. So, play Cactuar up top. And we'll go Titan. They're challenging us up top. Let's go with the ultimate party animal. We'll make we'll make things interesting. Alright, then we'll play our Maloceris. They took the position up top, but that's fine. Let's go. Crab. This is gonna cause him some concern, I imagine. Take all those positions. And he's swapping, interesting choice. Great time to draw the Chocobo and Moogle. Plop that down. And he's out of plays. That's obviously a win for us. But let's just... Uh, Make sure he doesn't draw any replacement cards that could cause us some problems, so... Saucer Squad there. Oh, looks like he did draw something. Yep, he's gonna get that position back. Not too surprising. But, you know what? We'll take it right back with our grip. And then we'll destroy that card with our Arch Dragon. He's almost got no cards left. All right, and then we'll play a free. And that gives us the mid lane and the bottom, but you know what? We want more. So we're gonna transfer a free's power to the top. And we're gonna take every lane. All right, dominant win. We get his 14 points as well. Oof, jeez, look at that score. 88 to nothing. It seems a transfer of ownership was in the cards after all. Be warned, that which appears a mere pastime is shrouded in darkness. I suggest you proceed with caution, lest it consume you too. This situation is graver than I feared. Here, she'll guide you to the queen. The rest is in your hands. I see you successfully. 
successfully obtained the Emerald Witch. I noticed the card was radiating energy, which I took the liberty of analyzing. It revealed the location of the Queen. Evidently, she resides within some ruins in the Gungaga region. The climax of this saga is nigh, and only you, the Blood Executioner, can bring it to a close. Best of luck. Alright, so the Shadow Blood Queen is in Gungaga. Let's go face her. Let's challenge her. We're gonna fast travel to Fiend Intel 4. All right, so we've got some uh, Chimera Mimics here. Let's take them out real quick. Oh, and some frogs. Made quick work of them. Where's my bird? There it is. And we got some buried treasure over here. Let's see. We got a sapphire. All right, so over here we've got Regina. Oh, Cloud, it's you. Didn't think you'd come. You mind? We prefer to have this conversation in private. Here it is, the source of everything. All I ever wanted was to be worth something. Queen's blood gave me that. Got people to respect me. Fear me. Until... I started fearing for myself. For what I might become. Because I can't keep winning forever. And once I start losing, I'll be worthless. Worse, a nobody. When I found her, I knew that I would never lose again. That I'd been chosen for something greater. That I was blessed. But this... This isn't that at all. It's been speaking to me. Telling me to give myself to her power. To dominate. I've tried not to for so long, but I, I can't. Regina? Ah, uh, yeah. yes. I remember well this land, for it was once mine. Until that witch rallied the unwashed and put me to the sword. Well, little puppet. What do you say? A match against your queen. For you, human, have a blood debt to pay in full. Challenge the Shadow Blood Queen to a match? Yes. Alright, we get an unknown reward, but we'll need to change our deck for this one, so let's drop... Chocobo Moogle, Ultimate Party Animal. We'll drop the Cactuar, the Saucer Squad, and the Fat Chocobo. And in their place, let's see. We'll take two Rictus. We'll take another Chimera. And then we'll get two Geese Specters. Oh, also, we should probably show that Emerald Queen card that we got. Not anything really special. It's an Emerald Witch, rather. Raise the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by two while this card is in play. So, kind of whatever. Not particularly impressed by it. Let's play. Alright, so we start off with Rictus and Chimera. That's good. We're just going to reroll everything that's not those cards. And hopefully get at least one more, but we did not. Alright, so, anyways, 
The Shadow Blood Queen raises power by three for each other enfeebled allied and enemy card. It's not really particularly strong on its own, but all of the cards she has with it are just ridiculously broken, so you'll see. Let's play a Rictus. So you can see she can play that on a rank one spot. It's six power. And it lowers the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by one while it's in play. And pretty much every card she has is like that. So fun times. Let's play the Chimera in the center. And already encroaching on my territory. Let's go ahead and play a crab there. Try to slow her down a bit. She blasted that position away. We'll just... Uh, even though I'll lose him... Actually, no, I won't lose him. I was thinking I was going to lose that card, but no. Um, let's just play the Space Ranger. We're basically buying time. Trying to, like, hold off her assault. Right, so she's got a position down there now. We'll tackle that with the Spearhawk. And actually, she kind of put herself in a compromised position. That's, that's going to make this easier. Yeah, she might actually be stuck now. Let's play Arch Dragon because I don't think she has any replace cards, so she might have just lost. Yep, <laughs> we won. Usually it's a little harder to, to fend her off, but we managed. So she'll just keep playing those cards and like obliterating all of yours. So the goal is to get the Erectuses and the Chimera out. So I'm just going to keep playing as if we're under duress. Um, so let's see. We would want to do. I guess in this case, we would probably do Gi. Oh, that would lower my own card. We'd do uh, Griffin, I guess, and that would destroy my own card. And there we go. We got our second Rictus, so we'd put that there. And then a Titan. Do Malaceris. Throw in a Freak. And then we just have two Gee Specters, which would have just helped fend her off. And then what we would do is take our Chimera here in the center and Gee Natak spread out the uh, the love. But we would that uh, would be a higher score. We're currently, well, would it be a higher score? No, it actually wouldn't. So we get a higher score just taking every lane. But normally, she would take the center lane for sure. So spreading that power to the top and bottom lanes is how you would win. But we didn't need it. We win. So 72 to nothing. Beat down. What foul sorcery? Uh, a cursed witch. Even in death, you would thwart me. Good. What about... She's gone. Oh, she is, is she? <laughs> Be still, little puppet. You belong to me now. <laughs> Use the card. Don't you dare! Game over.
Thank you, Cloud. For stopping her. For stopping me. Guess I really let all that genius crap go to my head, huh? After a while, losing became my worst nightmare. I'd do anything to win. And look where it got me. You are not to blame for this. Evil like that preys on our deepest, darkest fears and worms its way into our hearts. If you ever break free... You're the best because you worked your ass off, not because you're a genius. Got it? <sighs> Got it. <sighs> well, on that note, I'd better get back to it. After all, there can only be one card queen. <laughs> so next time you want to throw down, you best come prepared. Right. <laughs> Later! All's well that ends well, I suppose. Thanks to you. <laughs> Couldn't have you dying on me just yet. We we defeated the Shadow Blood Queen and we got our card. And now that we're ranked up, we can go back to the Gold Saucer and do that challenge that was previously locked. Back to Wonderman Square. Okay, they have no idea. That I just saved them from calamity. And I'm ready to put my card skills to the test. Got your deck in order? If so, then it's time to throw down. So we have Nightmare Survival Challenge. Compete in a grueling match spanning five rounds to see how many total points you can accrue. Win and receive a reward based on your point total. You will draw five cards at the start of each round through round three. You cannot draw cards from round four onward. You cannot draw cards during the round. Gold is 100 points, you get 405 GP, silver gives you another 360, and bronze is basically given to you for 10 points. That's 105 GP and card 104, Bahamut. We have seen Bahamut before, let's get our deck ready. So, we're gonna drop these Rictuses, we're gonna drop one of our Chimeras, we'll keep the other. And we'll drop these Gee Spectres. And in their place, let's go with Sid, the ultimate party animal. Then we'll get some stronger cards. Let's go with um, Mithril Golem. And Dio. And I suppose we'll take a fat joke as well. All right, looks good. Let's play. All right, what do we want to start with? Uh, let's re-roll the Chimera. And I actually like the rest. We'll keep the rest. All right, interesting start. Um, so we got Cack in the Boxes for top and bottom lane and then Robo Box for the center lane. So get Chadley or Maya. Hopefully Chadley, because that makes things much easier. Let's play. Gigantoir there to get a rank 3 position in the middle. And we'll play our Maloceris. Alright, well, 
We already locked up the center unless he can buff those. We'll pass. And I could potentially take the top lane if I wanted to, but let's just pass. And he's got three points on the bottom. So do we want it? I suppose we do. Space Ranger or Arch Dragon? I suppose we go Arch Dragon. Yeah, let's take that. Let's get points and cards. I think that's worth it. Top lane we won't bother with. Not worth it. So, we'll pass. All right, so we got 20 points off the first round. Not too shabby. Now, did we get Mai or Chadley? We got Chadley. Very nice. And a Gargantuar. Not too bad. All right, let's see here. We got a Sid. Not too bad. Spear High, Crystal Cram. Okay. Let's go Space Ranger. So we got Keck in the boxes on the top and bottom lane, but it's like, you know, the top lane. Good luck. Uh, let's go with uh, Spearhawk. And they're encroaching on my territory. How rude. We'll take it back with a crystalline crap. Alright, let's see. We don't have that much to work with, actually. Uh, let's go Sid. Actually, we should have played Gargantuar. Oh well, we'll play it here. All right, and he dropped the Malosaurus, but that's not going to be enough because I've got a Freet at 15. Although, you know what? I am going to give up the mid lane. And transfer that power to top and bottom. And we're going to take both CAC in the boxes. So, let's do it. That's pretty good. Alright, so we're taking 43 points from this round. And a Gigantar. Which is an awesome pull. And Cactrot, which is less awesome. Alright. Let's see what we got now. Ultimate party animal might be an interesting play. You know what? Let's play the ultimate party animal. Let's make things interesting on this round. All right, then we'll play Titan. Put Dio in the top left. Alright, do we have enough to take the bottom? We don't. So, in that case, we'll just play a Cactrot down here, maybe? Uh, no. Well, no, we could. Let's wait though. Let's make sure they don't pull any nonsense and we'll play our Gigantar up here. Just to get that rank three position. Unless there's a better play, I'm not seeing. I guess I could fat Chocobo over to grab their middle spot if they don't. We'll see if they take that or not. But for now, that goes in. 
Nope, they put a loveless card there. Alright, so we'll take the position. And actually, we can take the bottom. Oh, uh, no, we can't quite take the bottom line. Close, but not quite. Because we could play Chimera, but it's not quite enough. So, Cactrod it is. Buff those up. And I needed it anyway, actually, because we're tight on that lane. So, there we go. So, another 31 points coming our way, plus a Summoner's card in the center. And another CAC in the box. Oh, wait. A lot more than that. I forgot we played Ultimate Party Animal. So, we actually just exceeded our goal. We're at 111. And we got lots of cards. And we picked up a Gargantoir and a Leviathan. We'll start with a tiny Bronco. And then from there, let's play our Gigantar here. We're just trying to make lots of positions. Because Shiva's going to turn those into points for us. Oh, they are going to go with the fat chocobo, but that's fine because I got Gargantoir. Unless we want to play something else. Nope, Gargantoir will do. Right, he's going Dio. I guess we could... No. Kind of running out of options here. I guess we could... Um, fat Chocobo, but... Is there a need? Not really. Maybe we just let this one lie? Or we could... I guess we could... Leviathan, but then we're kind of stuck. Although we could blast that position down there. So actually, that is kind of interesting. Uh, but it wouldn't give us the position, so then they actually kind of help them in some ways. Let's just wait and see what they do. We'll pass. Alright, so they're gonna take that. I'll take it with Chimera, and we'll see if they have any tricks. And actually, we still haven't used Chadley. And we've lost the middle lane, so let's throw our fat Chocobo there. And we'll have Chadley transfer his power to the top and bottom. There we go. We took those lanes. And... I mean, I feel like, even though it's a waste, we may as well get one more point to the Chimera, because we're not going to be able to use that Griffin otherwise, so may as well. Have a point, Mr. Chimera. Alright, and we're good. Let's pass. Shiva turns those to ice, and we're taking another 33 points. We're up to 144. Alright, and now we really can't do anything. We'll play Leviathan, and that's the only card we have, so we're at their mercy this round. They're just going to play all their cards, and whatever points they get, they get. But I doubt that's going to be 114 points, so we should be more than fine. You can see they've got some of those hacker Shadow Blood Queen cards. If only I could get my hands on those. Those are amazing. I would love to have those cards. Alright, looks like the last card. They didn't even play it. And they pulled in a decent amount of points there. 73 to 144. Alright, and we got our Bahama card. You completed every survival challenge. 
damage. Sweet. All right, so since we're here, let's see if we can't get a crown for Efreet and Sephiroth. It's gonna be tough, but let's see. Maybe we can. Let's do it. Efreet, I challenge you. Boom. All right, here's this combo. Yeah, get another hit in. Dodge that uppercut. Dodge that hook. Oh, that came out quick. that and that is a crown hope you're ready perfect now can we do the same to Sephiroth he's a different beast he's a whole nother beast let's do it Doing good so far. I should be doing his first combo soon. All right, here comes the combo. his original combo, that's unusual. going so well. Chop. I thought I had him. Huh. Oh, going with that combo again, that's Chop. unusual. Alright, and this should put him into his final combo. So that's Twice now, he's gotten one block in and ruined my perfect. That's so frustrating. Nothing personal. But oh well, we got a free and I thought we had Sephiroth, but not quite. All right, well, oh well. One crown to go. So, we're done here. Let's see. So we have that new phenomenon intel, finally, in the Corel region. So let's go check that out. That's gonna send us to phenomenon intel three, modular reactor three, and we can go to this choco stop in our buggy.
here we are. So, we got the statue. Now that we've got the statue, we've just got to find the rock. Hold it up. And it's over there. Around this rock formation. Okay, so let's get out and check again. Hold it up. And it's that way. I think we I think we want to climb up. Let's consult with our statue. Yeah, it's actually down below, but we do want to climb up. It is this way. can actually see it down there. So, just gotta find our way down. We can go back here, and I believe there's a path down. Yep. <laughs> down we go. Up we go. And down we go again. That'll take us right to the rock. Stand before the rock and raise the Cactuar statue. It's a Gigantar. Don't overdo it. Oh, crush me. Doing a thousand needles, is that a me? Nope, it's like five. I'm just lighting him up with bonus round until he goes for needle range. Just waiting for that needle rain. He'll do it eventually. And if not, I'll stagger him with regular shots. Right, there it is. Focus shot. Cloud's ready to bounce. Push the red. I think we did all right back there. Oh yeah! Not it! Oh. <laughs> hey, check it out! I can still move my tail! Lucky you. <laughs> It was actually kind of fun. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Return to the modular reactor and unseal the door. Red got a taste of it, but he seemed to enjoy it. All right, let's go back to the Chocobo stop on our buggy.
The Don raised you, and this is how you repay him? We're gonna teach you a lesson, you ungrateful pricks. Don't fight the hand it feeds. <laughs> I hear you were using him as cannon fodder. Should they thank the Don for that, too? <laughs> Rat-faced punk. You know who I am! Look, you're obviously not worthy of the treasure. So would you mind clearing out already? I'm expecting company. <laughs> the hell are you doing here? You shit me! If you bozos hadn't crushed my plans, I wouldn't have had to come here just to fix them! After he was so unjustly driven from the gold saucer, our beloved Don was forced to wander these scorching sands. We stumbled upon this oasis and asked only for a bit of respite. But these guys... <sighs> oh, please. You goons tried to steal the treasure, and you got what was coming to you. Shut your mouth! All that glimmers is gold, and all that's gold belongs to the Don alone! He needs it to build his grand new empire, Corneoland. Come on, just give it to me already! Don't make me beg for it! Cause I will! <laughs> please! Please! <laughs> Done! Let's retreat for now. We let them do the legwork. Then once they've got the treasure, we swoop in and snatch it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our cue. We'll see ourselves out. Au revoir! Fam out. <sighs> Sorry about all that. Now that the Don and his crew hit the road, shall we? Bring it on! <laughs> I've got something real special in store for you. You kidding? They're just different colors. <laughs> Don't look so special to me. Those aren't just any cactuars. They're rare variants. Their unique coloration has led them to be venerated by their peers as heroes. I must implore you all to collect data on them for me. <laughs> and with that, let the third trial begin. Attempt Cactuar Crush with Yuffie. Rank 1 is 2,000 points for two Mist Giga Potions. Rank 2 is 3,000 points for Cosmo Tidor. Rank 3 is 4,000 points for Dark Matter times 3. Let's do it. Here we go! Windstorm! Let's do Windstorm again. Alright, these are bigger ones. Let's do... Static Shock on... This one. Put them down. We got these ones. Oh, did they just switch on? I think they switch. They can do that. They can switch affinities, and I wasn't noticing. Uh, what the heck? Never had him run away like that before. That was ridiculous. Oh, he switched on me. Let's do Art of War. Alright, jeez. Man, me all the way over here. Alright, just tearing through him. Get over here. Right, we'll take this one down with regular attacks. There we go. Oh, we got the little guy. All right, he's gone. Windstorm. 
Alright, we immediately took them down. Oh, the affinity switched as I was attacking them. How lame. Oh, got me good. Alright, we gotta be careful if the affinity switch will waste our attacks. Alright, shock was quite effective there. Alright, the affinity switched on us. Oh, we got a bunch of little dudes. May as well win Storm. Win Storm again. Check for the body slam. Oh, big damage there. There we go. Moving on. Got the time, dudes. Oh, they're switching on me. Dang it. Alright, let's do static shock. Well, actually... Let's do uh, Banishment. This is a huge hit, and it might get a few of them. Let's see. We need the right one, though. That one right there. Right. Boom! <laughs> no All right, they just affinity switched on us. Oh! Oh, he avoided all those hits. Oh, look out. All right, standing shot. Uh, didn't seem to do it. Weird. All right, Infinity Switch. And he's gone. All right, we got 4,420. That was quite a show. I am genuinely impressed. Should be only one more, right? <laughs> Precisely. The next reactor you visit will be the last. One final trial awaits that will determine whether you are the treasure's rightful owner. Alright, we got Phenomenon Intel 4, Modular Reactor 4. Down there. Let's check out the intel we just got. Phenomenon Intel 3, Unfriendly Competition. Although the Sand Giant and the Corneo family also joined the search for the Proto Relic, it is Yuffie who succeeds in winning the third piece. Kid G then challenges Cloud and company to seek him out for the final trial. Alright, so let's go ahead and fast travel to the desert water main. And our buggy's waiting for us. Yeah, it's not too far from here. Right here. Got the Cactar statue. Only one Cactuar rock awaits. The treasure of the sands is almost yours. Hang in there. Okay, raise our statue. And it's that way. Back in the buggy.
So, let's go down here. Check our statue, and it's it's actually that way, but we do need to go this way. So this loops around. So taking another look, it's that way. So yeah, a little confusing, but it is this way. You can see it's looping around for us. Okay, let's go ahead and check it again. need to actually loop around. I don't think there's any way to climb up. So let's go on foot this way. Yeah, we got some ancient bark, sycamore wood, and mist seeds. Pearl ginger root and sage. Here, so it's kind of hidden, I guess. It's not super obvious how to get over here. And you can see our rock right over there. Stand before the rock and raise the Cactuar statue. Right, we got a Gargantuar this time. Kind of the same enemy, to be honest. Is that it? Keep it together. Bonus round. Right. Is it gonna do needle rain? Yes, it is. Oh, oh, I hit the wrong button. Well, we're gonna take a little bit of damage. You got this. A little slow on the trigger. I'm ending this. Keep it up. I'm ready if you are. Investigate the cat to our rock. has asked you to undertake this trial to see if you're worthy of said title. Uh, okay. I'm detecting increased cactuar activity. It would seem they're preparing to receive you. They will hold nothing back. But I have the utmost confidence that you will prevail, as you always do. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, let's go. 
return to the modular reactor and unseal the door. All right, let's fast travel back to the desert water main. Here we are. well to survive the spiny onslaught that was unleashed upon you. Quote the Book of Kings. Delivered to this land from a realm unknown, the treasure of the sand shall be bequeathed to the Bladesmen of Legend. For generations, we have observed our duty to keep the treasure safe until the appointed hour. Could you be the Bladesmen of Legend that the scriptures foretold all those years ago? Guardians, if you can breach their nigh impenetrable defenses, you will have proven yourself the treasure's heir. And with that, let the final trial begin. Attempt Cactuar Crush with Aerith. Uh, let's see. Rank one is 2,000 points for Dry Ether. Rank two is 3,000 for Cosmo Titor. Rank three. 4,000 for 3 Dark Matter. Let's do it. Alright, Aerith. Drop down your aura. Let's go. Every other shot will do the trick. Comes another group as they arrive. Sorceress Storm. Backing off a bit. That'll do. The tempest out of the way. Oh, she put up. Uh, it put up a, a ward, so we need to melee it to break that ward. Ready? There we go. Moving on. Sorcerer Storm. Now beat up that group quick. Right. Maybe this will do Let's wait quick. for this one to fall on us. There we go. Someone then we can do a Tempest. Fall that up with a couple soul drains. And that's massive damage, as you can see. Right, finish it off. Go dark. A little bit help. Let's restore. Backing off a bit. That's it. One more shot. Sorceress storm. Perfect. Got the explosions. Let's get a Tempest on it. Oh, put a Mana Ward up. Let's melee it. Chase it down and smack it. Every little bit helps. Got it. Melee these down. Right. 
one award. So much for a storm. Chop the body slam. And Tempest. Soldier. Look at that damage. I'll take that. Right, pick them down quick. Go light. Go on. Okay, try to tackle me. I I dodged it. So it's restored. Going dark. Maybe this will do the trick. Set up a mana ward. Ah! Jesus, mines are everywhere. Maybe this will do the Go on. Oh, we dominated. All right, got 45, 100 points. Perfect. That's enough. I'm completely convinced. Just as the Book of Kings foretold. The Bladesman of Legend has come at last. Actually, there's one more favor I wanted to ask. Hold it right there! <sighs> Nobody do anything stupid. I'm afraid that fancy book of yours is out of date. Only king I know deserving of that treasure is this one right here. Don Cornego. <laughs> you heard him. Give me my sparkling spoils. <laughs> what in the hell? I simply cannot believe you. The audacity to declare yourselves claimants. Treasures of the Genji belong to me alone. You will render unto me my prize. What kind of circus is this? Stand back. Protecting this treasure is our sworn duty. Just a technical knockout. We've got our sights set on a new frontier. We'll rebuild stronger than ever, and once we do. <laughs> once we do, we're gonna crush you and your little cacti, too. Your days are numbered! <sighs> anyway, back to that favor I was about to ask. Would you mind sparring with me? I want to go around with the legend himself. See how I stack up? Why not? Spar with Kid G? Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and assess him. That's do it right. KG, an eccentric goblin capable of speech and interested in human culture. It is his ancient duty to lead Corel's cactars and the protection of the treasure of the sands. Dealing with his post-parry attack or his goblin beatdown will pressure him. If he failed to stagger him after a certain amount of time, he will unleash his powerful whammo attack. Well, I don't want to get whammo. 
Here we go. Get lost. He's kind of beating me up. Get lost. Ah, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah. All right. Um. Let's see. I might just have Barrett throw him a heal. Yeah, throw Cloud a Giga Potion. He needs it. Right. Right, you're up. Maybe you'll have better, better of success. Cheesy hurts. All right, going back to Cloud. Let's do this. Just ATB boost. That's it. Right, we pressured him. Let's see. I do want Cloud to heal, though. Either way, let's do a focus thrust. Don't overdo it. Barrett, you help as well. Focus shot. All right, my time. Going haste for the group. Probably should have a healer. Uh, Spinal fervor. I got this. Right, so we might get whammoed if we're not careful. Let's pray. It's on you. Overcharge. Oh, it's pressured. Focus shot. Cloud. Focus thrust. Alright, we don't have a synergy. Dang it. Alright. Red, you're up. Alright, Cloud. Pressure him. Or stagger him, rather. There we go. Alright, Infinity's in. Red, you do. Ooh, we can do Crescent Claw. Do Crescent Claw. Barret, help out. Maximum Fury. Give it all yeah. Ooh, big. Finish the job. Got him. Of course, no trial could be a match for the Bladesmen of Legend. Congratulations, the treasure of the sands is yours. And as its keepers, our work here is done. Guess we'll have to come up with a new fairy tale for ourselves. Yeah, good luck with that. Hope we meet again someday. I'd be down for a rematch too. Sure. <laughs> Cactuar, or Cactuar Crush Hard Mode. The Cactuars have presented you with a special challenge befitting the Bladesmen of Legend. Stop their spiny onslaught and prove yourself unimpeachably worthy of your new title. What now? Let me guess. The Sand Giant. That was you? Drawn were you by Genji's call, and whither did it lead you but those sweltering sands? Am I right? Let us share a drink beneath the stars. I'll pass. Huh. I offer to reward your fruitless labors, yet you refuse to accept. Thieves thirst only for spoils. Excuse me? 
Huh. You've absconded with nigh every Genji piece I own. Is there a name more befitting than thief? To wit, you've made off with six. My helmet breastplate, my gloves and greaves. However, one item eludes your avaricious grasp. Ooh, 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 ooh. Behold, name, my Genji shield. That another proto relic? You fool! Tis the Aegis of Genji! <laughs> Once the full set is again in my possession, my memory shall at last return, and I will know not only whence I came, but whither I must go! And thus, in the name of Genji, I issue one final challenge! Me, the true bladesman of legend, Gilgamesh! We shall duel on the isle I call home! Gilgamesh! Island! Oh, don't. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. The day I reclaim what is mine! Okay. And there await that swordsman and those otherworldly armaments. Who knows what data you'll collect once you make landfall? Oh, I'm detecting an uncontrollable pounding in my chest. <sighs> Cloud. Uh, uh, the end of our quest for the proto relics draws near, but I hope you will continue to assist me in exploring our world. Right, we have Phenomenon Intel 1, Gilgamesh Gardens, and that is in the ocean. We obtained Kid G's Proto Relic, and we've got a new combat simulator uh, challenge to check out. Corel Region Intel Level 2. So, uh, we also have those hard modes for Cactuar Crush, so let's knock those out. We'll start with the first one over here, Treasure Protector G. All right, attempt Cactuar Crush with Yuffie on hard mode. Yes, we need 6,000 points for an elixir, which feels like a mediocre reward. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Body slam and look out. Oh, why did that just miss? Like point blank it missed. Right, come here, gold or gold Gigantar, whatever his name is. Right, finish him off. Windstorm! Windstorm again! Right, we got one gold cactuar left. There we go. Moving on to these. They're body slamming. Look out. Oh, what the heck. Alright, 
get rid of that quick. Uh, we're not gonna have any AT. Oh, what the heck? I got stuck. Not gonna have any ATB for this one. With the power of his providence, just as you are. Here I go. How you like this? And once you grow on. And almost. Oh, you're. Alright, when's the whole run? Alright, next group. Windstorm! Watch out for that body slam! Oh, that was body slamming too! Wow, that took forever. Oh no! Let's to hit that one! Let's see if we can finish this one off. Ah, uh, dang it. Uh, that worked. Get over here. Get over here. Alright, got it. Who's next? Hi. Where do you think you're going? Alright, big old group here. Winston. Okay, we got three big ones. Well, let's just do regular attacks. Wait for one of them to body slam. There we go. Right, almost got rid of this one. We just finish it off like that. Perfect. Put up a fight with the power of his providence. Beat him up. Want to beg for mercy? Ooh, that one's getting wrecked. And one to grow on. There we go. So we just got. Oh, we got. He's falling. Someone need a rest? Run like a chocobo? All right, just the little gold crack tar, and boom, we dominated. Six thousand four hundred twenty points. All right, this one's done. Moving on to number two, which is over here. Kid G's trial. Oh, that reminds me. I don't think I looked at the intel for our last Phenomenon thing. Phenomenon Intel 4, Bladesman of Legend. With Aerith earning the fourth and final piece, the proto-relic is made whole once more. However, Don Corneo and the Sand Giant arrive barely a moment later, each party hoping to claim the treasure. Luckily, Kid G and his Cactuar friends intervene and see off the would-be thieves. After a quick sparring match, the Petite Goblin declares Cloud the Bladesman of Legend and gladly grants him the relic. All right, so here we are at the second one. Attempt Cactuar Crush with Aerith. Yes, and once again, just an elixir for this. We need 6,000 points. All right, starting off with some light ones. This should make you stronger. We're gonna get a tempest on them. Go on. Oh, it's switching affinities. Okay. Drop dark. Let's hit that with the soul drain. Get him out of here. There you go. Oh, got hit by something I didn't see. Ah, oh, switch affinities again. That's it. Get away from them. Ah. Oh. All right, we're off to a bad start here. Let's go, Soul Drain. Go on. Right, just this one, switching affinities. Ready? That's it. Here we go. Next group. This 
Let's go, let's always stun him. Alright, we can expect him to fall. There he goes. Too much? Tempest. Get him. That'll do. I'll take that. Thank you. Alright, beating that one up good. This one's for you. Sorry about that. There we go, he's gone. Maybe this drop this. Oh, and they're switching affinities, we'll drop that. And Sorcerer Storm. Oh, look out! Ooh, that was close. One more shot! Look at my little butterfly doing work. Alright, did they switch affinities on me again? No. Okay. I was going to do Sorcerer Storm, but regular attack's doing just fine. Here he comes. Maybe this will do the trick. You okay? Go on. You'll see. Tempest, watch out for the. Oh! I say, watch out for the earthquake. Lend me your strength. All right, he's gone. Come on, fall over. All right, you know what? Let's just hit him with the soul drain. Fall over already. Oh my god, you're so annoying. All right, well, whatever. He's almost dead. There we go. We got him. Sorcerer Storm. Infinity switched on me. Okay. Oh, I dodged that. Nonsense. Let's go storm. Go on light. Spine spew, get away. This one's for you. Right, get the extra time. Here he comes. Whole bunch of little dudes. So it's my storm. Body slam, get away. Too much? All right, Tempest. That'll do. Lay into him. Oh, that damage. All right, we got rid of it. Oh wait, no, we want. Oh, they switched on us. Maybe this will do the trick. Yeah, for all that crap. Here he comes. Ah! Right, back to light. Oh my god, I can't even see. Oh my god. All right, there's too much happening. Close for storm. Oh, that's dark. I didn't notice. Uh, let's see. Soul Drain on that one. There we go, and we win. 6,220 points. We had a bunch taken off for just getting hit constantly. All right, that is done. Let's go to the third one, which was over here. Okay, it's Yuffie's turn again. Attempt to our crush with Yuffie, yep. And we need 6,000 points.
Here we go. Oh, let's see how this goes out. I had a war on you. Run like a chocobo. Out of war, gladiator. Let's do static shock on that one. Ah, we got a big group of little guys. Their affinity switching. I think we still want a windstorm. Jump that. Oh, and they're kind of grouped up. Let's see if a uh, static shock will do some serious damage. Oh, they all affinity switch? Yes, they did. All right, so Art of War on this one. Oh, just tore them up. Got him. These ones. Could do a banishment. Actually, let's do a banishment. See how good this was. Before they run off. Where's this one? There we go. Banishment. Boom! Oh, that was quite good. Took out a bunch of them. Alright, static shock on. Let's go this one. He's body slamming. Don't leave him vulnerable. Alright, that gift one. Go. Moving on. Whistle. Alright, so many. Let's. Windstorm. Count. Let's see. We got banishment too. Let's do it right here. Static shock on. Oh, they went pugilist. Those are just little ones, right? That would never do it. Oh. Let's do out of war on him. Oh, you just switched affinities on me. Okay. Static shot for him. Alright, that group's done. Art of War! Art of War! Oh, he interrupted it. What a freaking jerk. Look out for those. Oh boy. There's crap everywhere. Alright, Art of War on. You. There we go. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Right, he's down. Right, getting a little intense in here. That earthquake. Let's hit him with. Oh, we do have banishment, but let's hold on to that. Um, we'll just use a static shot. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, he's not gonna fall down again, apparently, so. 
Well, do we want to do Static Shock? He's almost dead. Let's see. Yeah, I probably should have. Right, it was pretty quick. Alright, extra time! Windstorm! <laughs> Trying to get through his health, he's got a lot. My god, he's got a lot of health. He's charging! Oh, that shouldn't have hit me. What the heck? There we go, he's body slamming. Beat him up! Why are some of my attacks missing a point blank? Alright, oh, he's, he's gonna miss. Let's do that. Alright, a bunch of affinity switching happened. I think they're mostly magic. Oh my goodness! Are you serious? Alright, hold on. They're pretty grouped up. I think a banishment would be strong. Let's do it right there. Boom! That seemed pretty strong to me. Uh, Pugilist gets the Art of War. God. Enough explosions? Alright, let's finish him off. Static shock. There's so many. Alright. a war on this one. There we go. Took out a bunch. Oh my god! Art of War on this one. Alright, took those two down and oh we hit our target. Jeez, this one's rough. Static shock. Oh jeez. And we got it. Woo! That was rough. 6,140 points. We lost so many points from getting just beat up. Alright, that one's done. And we move on to the fourth. For Aerith, the Bladesman of Legend. Okay, attempt Catwalk Crush with Aerith. Once again, we're gonna need 6,000 points. Let's do it. All right, starting out with a big one. Uh, well this isn't good. Let's get up right next to it, encourage it to do body slam. Oh, it switched on me. No, not Earthquake, get, oh. You gotta get close to me. No, what are you doing? Oh my god. There we go. Sorry about that. Alright, Tempest. Soul Drain. Maybe we'll just finish off with regular attacks here. There we go, got it. There we go, going dark. This should make you stronger. Twister Storm. Twister Storm again. Oh, 
Alright, that one put up Mana Ward. Let's knock it off. Well, you <laughs> she wouldn't do the ward. Alright, there we go, got it. Oh, just affinity switch. Let's see, is this... Oh, hold on. Alright, there we go. I want them to be close for Sorcerer Storm. And their body slamming. Oh, what? Alright, hold on. Ah, I totally missed that opportunity. Alright, good. Body slam. Perfect. Sorry about that. Tempest. Soul Drain. Lend me your strength. Yes. Okay. Sorcerer Storm. That group's gone. Sorcerer Storm. Oh, that was great. Maybe this will be the one. Ooh, we're just tearing them up. Alright, we got a Dark Twar. Smack them. Okay, get him. Night Twar. This should make you stronger. Here we go. Go on. So much for a storm. Go dark. This should make you stronger. You okay? Tempest. Oh. Well, before it gets up, let's hit it. Soul Drain. There we go. Look at the little ones. Did you hit him? Oh my god. It's just staring at him. No, stop attacking him. There we go. Alright. Watch out for that. Alright, let's just hit him with Soul Drain. Man, that targeting was atrocious. Oh, come on. Okay. There we go. Alright, get some points. Or get some time, rather. We got light this time. So it's restored. Went dark. Come on, get it. Get in here, do your stupid body slam. Come on! One more I'm just gonna do Tempest now. That'll do. Go on. Okay. Oh, there we go. Too much? Full time. Sorry. There we go. Oh, boom! Let's see. Stay light, I guess. Come on, butterfly, get to work. Take these dudes out. Boom! He's got mana ward. Take care of that. There we go. Drop dark. Oh, I didn't even notice we passed the score. Nice. All the chaos I didn't see. Alright, we got 6,300. You completed all Cactuar Crush Intel objectives on hard mode, sweet. All right, so we're done with that. Let's do that combat challenge next. So we'll head to Costa del Sol, to the Rent-A-Bird stables. The best way to make tracks is on Choco Bag. Passengers with reservations at Okay. Oh, and uh, one change I want to make before we go in. 
Because one of the stages is rough. I would like Cloud to have a Resurrect. He's got Prayer, Strength Up, ATP Stagger, HP Up. There's got to be something. We could drop Skill Master. Or ATB Assist. Uh... Maybe we'll do an ATB Assist. Let's drop this. And take the Revival. And we'll take Reds. And then Red can hold on to ATB Assist for me. Okay. Other than that, we should be good. Oh, actually... Enhanced Karma Cal, no. Let's go for more damage. Full throttle wrist guards. There we go. Parrot still has that bulletproof vest. And we'll be bringing Aerith. She's got that enhanced psychics charm. Okay. That all seems reasonable to me. That was excellent work in completing our survey of the Corel region, Cloud. Through your efforts, the ways in which Shinra shaped these lands for weal and for woe are now much more clearly understood. Of special interest is the gold saucer's effect on the soil, a testament to the ecological impact of technology. Thank you so much for your invaluable contributions. Alrighty, so let's use the combat simulator. And we have Corel Region Intel Level 2. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team. Fight fiends whose temperaments have been made savage and cruel by the harsh, unforgiving climbs of the desert wastes. And this one doesn't have the best reward. It's just fire material level two. Our team will be Cloud, Barrett, and Aerith. All right, we're starting off with some scrutinize and thugs. Pretty simple. Brace yourself. This one's not too bad either. We've got a Bagnadrana. Now these heat seekers are at least trying. No problem. Then we got one of those necrotic entities and uh, and a cockatrice. Oh, that's fine, Pog. No, thank you. You're done. Putting the beat down. Then we just got some Sandhog Pies. And a, um, what is that thing called again? Cyclone Drake. They're getting gravity off, or they thought they were, but they're dead. All right, and after these incredibly easy waves, then they throw the hammer down.
Now we have to deal with Kid G and two Dark Claws. So this one's quite rude. Alright, let's have Barrett haste the group. And let's just switch to him real quick anyway. Oh, Reaper Claws already? Alright, well that just got staggered for a second, but it doesn't last long. I'm probably not even going to be able to get it off. So let's not bother with that. Aerith, however... I think these are weak to fire. No, they're not weak to anything. Oh, Reaper Claws. Hopefully Barret avoids that. Yep. Nice job, Barret. Let's see. I don't want to use all of Aerith's ATB, so let's just do a Fyra at this Dark Claw, which I can't see the target. Okay. Oh. Let's all focus on... Whoa! Let's all focus on one. Barret... Focus shot, maybe? No. Let's have him do bonus round. And then Aerith, I want a heal. I want to keep our health up. Let's do Cure Up for the group. Ah, jeez. Kid G just causes so many problems. He just gets in there and starts smacking you. I'm gonna play it safe, don't spray. Get oh, Reaper Claws. No, thank you. Alright, he's pressured for a moment. Let's do this. Ah. Get up. Alright, um, Barret. Maybe Maximum Fury. What else can Barret do? Lifesaver is bad with Reaper Claws. Let's just have him Maximum Fury on A. Oh, crap. Reaper Claws. Whoa, that was quick. That came out of nowhere. All right, pray. All right, here we go. Oh, and I can just let me break. Perfect. Let's just do that. Cross slash. Oh, I'm surprised nobody ate that Reaper Claws. I thought for sure. All right. Ooh, Dark Claw B. I wonder if he ate some of that Limit Break because he suddenly has like no health. Ooh, just did some good damage to Kid G and the Reaper Claw. Oh, wait, is it dead? No. We do have Aerith available to heal. Oh, ow. Alright, Aerith. Get Cloud back up, please. Oh, not not group. Just for Cloud. Gotta be careful. Diving tackle. Not gonna work. Oh, I bet he regrets that. Braver! Guess he didn't. Guess he didn't regret it that much because he went for it again. I want to do synergy, but I kind of want to save it for Kid G. We'll just do this. Oh, I just interrupted his Reaper Claw. Nice. Alright, that Dark Claw's gone. Alright, let's do Synergy on him. So, Firework Blade. Alright, Barret, you're back up. Let's do... Maximum Fury. Alright, you 
get Fyra. Hang back. Oh, he's jumping all over the place. Uh, it's just the damage. Brace yourself. Ah, jeez. Oh, oh no! He took me with him. That's over. Wow, Kid G hurts. All right, challenge complete. That took three minutes and fifty seconds. We got our rank two fire material. All right, completed all normal combat simulator challenges. It's all done. Look at all these. Are my trials not challenging enough? I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Oh my god. Oh hey, look who's really helping Johnny now. Let's go back to the inn and see what new trophies we have. Try Johnny's Seaside Travel Service. Huh? <laughs> Thanks to you, Johnny and I got a little closer and, well, one thing led to another. But I'm having such a blast working that there isn't time for anything else. Maybe when things calm down. Hi, where are you heading today? We're going to Johnny's Seaside Inn. You have an awesome time in Costa del Sol. All right, so wow, look at that. We're at 82 of 88. We made some serious progress. So let's see what we got. Uh, I think this is new the soaring chocobo jockey. My mom's gliding course is no joke, but you passed it with flying colors. Wait, no, no, maybe it is. My mom's gliding course is no joke, but you passed it with flying colors. I'm impressed, I have to say. Just so you know, though, I'll be back in the saddle soon. And once I am, you can kiss that record of yours goodbye. Maybe we did have that. Yeah, we did have that. Dolphin Stuntman? Thanks for the amazing show. It was a real treat watching you and Mr. Dolphin zoom through the water like that. My grip isn't that great, so we always make sure to go real slow whenever I swim with him. But it was a nice change of pace for him to go that fast. Priscilla. All right, what else do we have? I think we had all of these. Bloody brilliant card sharp. Congratulations on conquering our most confounding challenges. As if Costa del Sol weren't hot enough, those impassioned plays of yours have lit a fire under all of our local QB aficionados. Card carnival staff member. I think we had seen that. And then maybe this one? Uh, I think we've seen that before. All right, what's this? Matter Machinator? You're a serious QB force to be reckoned with. The skills you learned here are going to make short work of any player who goes up against you. Almost feel sorry for them. Card Carnival staff member, okay. I think some of these are ones we've seen. Uh, crazy Motorcyclist. You cut quite the handsome figure speeding through the dark of night to stride your black steed. Keep putting pedal to the metal, young man. I can tell you're going places. Dio. And we have heavyweight brawler. Goodness, those polygonal fists of yours could be considered lethal to say nothing of your quick reflexes and coordination skills. You're the pointy-headed brawler to beat. Wonderman Square staff member. And then super heavyweight brawler. Bravo, young man. I knew you were quite the pugilist, but to think you could outbrawl the famed war hero himself, digitized though he is. Now there is no room for doubt. You are the 3D brawler. Dio. Soldier Galaxy Class. Your valiant efforts have not only seen us victorious over the Gilgamesh army, but it brought peace to the galaxy at long last. You are indeed a credit to the Space Rangers and a hero whose name will live on. Space Rangers Captain. Fleet-footed jockey. OK, 
Congratulations on winning all of our grade three races. We look forward to your next appearance. The GS Chocobo Racing Association. Chocobo Whisperer. We would like to offer you our most sincere congratulations on winning all of our grade two races, Mr. Strife. We look forward to your next appearance. The GS Chocobo Racing Association. Chocobo, or Chocobo, Champion Jockey. Though it pains me to admit defeat, it would appear that I have no choice in the matter. Congratulations on your victory. I suppose that means Esther was right about you. You're more than just a pretty face, but know this, that trophy will be mine again soon. Keep it well polished for me, would you? Joe and Hyperion. Card Wiz, congratulations on successfully completing all of our advanced card challenges. You were able to face down our most grueling bouts with courage and navigated them all with a plum. It was a true sanguinary feast for the eyes. Wonderman Square staff member. Card Slayer, such savagery, such barbarism, marvelous. You are drawn to the blood as it is drawn to you, and we applaud you for answering its call with so much zeal. Continue your quest, darken the crimson stains on your hands with the fresh blood of new victims, and soon you too shall be worthy of praise fit for the queen herself. Servant to the Shadow Blood Queen. Let's see what else. Best Actor, Cloud. Dear Mr. Strife, we just wanted to reach out and offer our heartfelt congratulations on your performance as Alfred. You played him to perfection, and it was a sincere honor to watch you on stage. You were at once dynamic and filled with pathos. You captured our Alfred perfectly. This is the part you were born to play. Sincerely, the Alfreders. Best Actress, Tifa. Salutations, Miss Lockhart. Your performance as Rosa was, quite simply, sensational. Nay, phenomenal. Or perhaps, transcendent? Yes, that is the word. Know that you have found yourself many an ardent admirer within the Rosa fan club. May you continue to grace the stage with your beauty and talent. With love and adoration, the Rosa Lads. Best Actress, Aerith. Salutations, Miss Gainsborough. We of the Rosa Fan Club offer you our heartfelt congratulations on your stirring performance as our beloved princess. You are truly worthy of this accolade. It may also please you to know that the song you wrote still echoes in both our ears and our hearts. We will be singing it for a long time to come. Yours sincerely, the Rosa Lads. I'm starting to lose my voice. Best... Wow, I'm really losing my voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Best Supporting Actor, Barrett. Dear Mr. Wallace, the members of the Varvados Fan Club would like to congratulate you on your epic performance. Your proud, booming voice, coupled with your ability to portray our Dragon King's hidden yearnings, made for the perfect Varvados. Few have ever performed the role half so well. We would love to see you on stage again very soon. Sincerely, the Varvadosiers. Best Supporting Animal, Red 13. To all Loveless cast and crew, congratulations on one of your best performances to date. It was such a thrill to see Garm speak for the first time. Your VR technology is certainly pushing the envelope for stagecraft. Sincerely, the Loveless Appreciation Society. Best Feline Narration, Kate Sith. Dear Mr. Kate Sith, let me just say I'm a big fan. Huge. You have a real knack for storytelling, and I'd go so far as to say that without you, the show wouldn't have been half as good. You inspired me to try my hand at acting, too. I've been practicing, actually. Saying Dene instead of don't. Using Lassie more, etc. Hope we can stand on the same stage together someday. Yours truly, the founding member of the Kate Sith Fan Club. Screw Kate Sith. Alright, then we have Dust Bowl Demolisher. Huh. Looks like you ain't all talk, setting new records and everything. But just you wait, I'm gonna put that score to shame and show you who's the real king shit. Desert Rush Junkie. And then we have Bells of the Ball. Cloud the Knife, baby honey, you're too much. Some folks would have been disappointed by your gang's theatrics. But if you ask me, it's already water under the bridge or sand in the desert. Whatever, metaphors are hard. But partying ain't. Y'all be sure to join the next one, you hear? Solemn Gus. 1,000 Needle Pincushion. This just goes to show that you're the rightful owner of the Treasure of the Sands. That said, you ever want to take it up a notch? Mr. Bladesman of Legend, be sure to see what else we've got to offer. Kid G. 10,000 Needle Pincushion. 
power, great, worthy, treasure, yours, protect. Play again, please. The Cactuar Coalition. What's this? Adequately functional specimen? Huh, well then, it seems I needn't flag you for immediate disposal. But it should go without saying that I require more data to justify your continued existence. Quality data would be my preference, but failing that, I'll make do with quantity. Try not to die too quickly, Hojo AI. Somewhat intriguing specimen. Z z uh, oh, oh, finally finished? Let's see, huh? What curious data is this? My, you've outdone yourself. In which case, yes, I do believe you've earned yourself the honor of a numerical designation. I reserve them for the specimens that have shown promise, you know. I look forward to sequencing your data and seeing what modifications might suit your offspring. Perhaps the day we welcome them into this world will be sooner than you think. Hojo AI. What's this one? I don't know if we've seen this one. Mai's Partici Participation Award. Go, go, you can do it, you can! Wait, don't tell me you already completed all of Chadley's normal challenges? When did that happen? Or when did that happen? Oh, never mind. The important thing is that you've given me a ton of data to process. Time to roll up my sleeves and get to work. Mine. Um, I've seen this. Blood Champion? Uh, to the Blood Champion Cloud Strife, you have done what I could not. The Queen dreams her dreamless sleep and the players no longer need fear her curse. And so the game is once again merely a game, no more, no less, as it was and should always be. I pray these trials have not deprived you of your love for the cards, and I hope that somewhere, someday, we may enjoy a spirited rematch. Ever your friendly specter, Lidra. The true ultimate party animal. Hello, Cloud. I hope you're doing well and enjoying success in your various endeavors. I'm struggling to readjust to life in the office. Day after day of harsh demands and unreasonable expectations from my superiors. But while a part of me will always yearn for the warmth of the gold saucer's bright lights, I know my place is here, fighting the good fight for my direct reports. Nevertheless, I'll cherish the memories we shared, and I'm already planning to take a trip out there with the family the next time I can get a chunk of time off. Never stop partying, my fellow party animal. Best wishes, the former UPA and forever Shinra middle manager. I think we'd seen all of these. And that, and that, and that, and that. Yep, we'd had all of these before. But here's a new one. Brace for absolute zero. When the numb-knuckled queen descends from on high, you'd better bundle up. Even in her 3D brawler form, there's no denying the power of this ice-cold killer's beauty. Shinra Toys. 3D Brawler Efreet figurine. The Burning Bruiser has made the leap from the 3D Brawler world into our own. Efreet's mere presence is enough to summon the unquenchable flames of hell. This high-quality figurine will dominate your collection as its unspoken roar resounds throughout your room. Shinra Toys. Masamune Replica. This replica of the war hero Sephiroth's massive sword has been crafted with admiration and respect. The dimensions, edge pattern, handling, or handle wrapping, and more have all been painstakingly reproduced, resulting in a weapon that will satisfy even the most demanding collectors. For a magnificent, alluring masterpiece befitting a legend, only the best will suffice. Shinra Toys. Alright, and that's all of the new stuff. We only have six left. So close. Okay, so we've uh, been distracted for quite some time. Let's go to the tiny Bronco. Oh, and he, it's so nice that it's open now. Not all locked up. Well done, John. Poor Red, I just ran him over. Alright, I'm having trouble controlling this wheelie. What's going on with it? There we go. I'm still having troubles. There we go. Tour coast to Del Sol in style with our wheelie. Okay, we're back. 
There you are. Need that radio. Thing's practically an antique. Even better. Okay, give me a read back. Seven, two oh five, two four six. Confirmed. Those are the correct coordinates. See you up north. Roger. All units have been apprised of the temple's location. Good. <sighs> so, I did some digging. This keystone curse stuff, it sounds like it might be the real deal. Everyone who's ever used it has ended up dead. Close. To be precise, those who enter the temple are never seen again. Vanished doesn't mean dead. And that's better how? Either way, the President's sending us to our deaths. Isn't that messed up? He'll be on site. I'm sorry. What? And you're surprised why? Uh, I don't know. Maybe because it's a terrible idea? Although, that's kind of on brand for him. Wheels up. We'll arrive first and roll out the welcome mat. <sighs> Understood. Got him. They're headed for the northern continent. North, huh? Tricky. Can you get there? Can I get there? Only with one arm tied behind my back. Girl might be missing her wings, but long as you got me, it'll be smooth sailing. Oh, man. This is gonna be rough. What can I say? Life is full of ups and downs. <laughs> They've mobilized the Turks and the military. Hope you're ready for a fight. Alrighty, so we completed chapter 12 and we've moved into chapter 13. So we are all done here. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.